Hi! Taking notes helps us fully understand what we are listening to, reading, and viewing. To keep our own notes organized, it's a brilliant idea to use Cornell note-taking system. Let's get into it. First, let's have the keywords in note-taking. So we have here focus. We need focus for better understanding. So we have to keep our notes organized for the review and for retention purposes. And definitely, this will result to good grades and academic success. Now let's check the components of the Cornell note-taking system. So we have this one first, the date. It's important that we put the date, the lecture, discussion, main notes, the key ideas or cues area, and the summary or synopsis area. So just make sure to leave enough space for each area of the notebook page to write down because it's not okay if the notes are congested. Okay. All right. For example, this is my notebook. This could also be your notebook. So it's good to have the date here. Or you may put it at this portion. What's important is you have the date so that you can easily go back and locate the information that you really need. And then here we have the key ideas or cues portion. Here would be the lecture discussion or the main notes portion. And at the bottom is the summary or synopsis portion. All right, what are we going to put here? So at this portion in the main notes area, you may use your own set of symbols and abbreviations. For example, the word between. There's no need for you to spell out between. You can just put B slash W or like the word without. We could have the W slash O, which W slash C something, S slash T, like that. So these symbols and abbreviations can facilitate your own immediate jotting down of notes and understanding. We could also have here the illustrations or diagrams. We could color or highlight major items or topics. So the colors could stimulate you to learn and to be motivated to review your notes. And then, reminder, do not congest your notes so that you could easily locate. It's eye-friendly and definitely it would be easy to understand each particular entry. And then here, so we have to write here anything that quickly gives as hints okay and then the vocabulary the reminder or reminders announcements and memo to self so just the short words or the key ideas here okay and in this portion summary or synopsis wrap up the ideas or information at the end of the subject or study session or at night during review or homework. So this could really provide you a very good summary or a very good overview of what took place during the discussion for that particular meeting, okay? So guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for more lesson videos, practical tips, and anything educational. Have fun learning!